Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd. Ahlul Sunni tu wal jama'a. They have faith, complete faith, in the attributes which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qualified for himself. To have faith that Allah is close and the answerer of the invocations is also included in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And when my slaves ask you concerning me, then answer them, I am indeed near to them by my knowledge. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The one whom you are calling is nearer to you than the neck of your riding animal. The closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his companionship that is mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah is not opposed to the transcendence and dominance of Allah the, the, the Almighty, the Glorified. For in all the attributes, there is nothing like Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes and there's nothing like unto him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says all throughout the Quran and where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيْسَ كَمِتْ لِهِ شَيْفُ وَهُوَ سَعِيُّ بَصِيرُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and there, is, uh, and there is none like unto him, لَيْسَ كَمِتْ لِهِ وَهُوَ سَعِيُّ بَصِيرُ And Allah affirms for himself, he negates that there's any anyone or anything like him, and he makes he affirms for himself that he is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. But So that means what? Our hearing and seeing is nothing like Allah's. Anything in creation, everything in creation, nothing in creation resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing. And Ahlul Sunnah is not opposed to the transcendence and dominance of Allah, the glorified. For in all the attributes, there's nothing like Allah. And He is high in His closeness and close in His height. Having faith in Allah and in His books includes having faith in these things. Also that the Qur'an is the statement of Allah. It has been sent down, meaning it has been revealed, and it is uncreated. It began by uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will return to him. And that Allah has already spoken it. The kalam of Allah, the Qur'an. Allah has already spoken. And this Qur'an which has been sent down to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Allah is really the statement of Allah, not of any other person or any other thing, or any anything created. It's the statement of Allah. To apply the word reporting is not permissible, and this is what the Asha'ira and some of these groups do. It's not permissible to say it's reported speech. It is not permissible for the reason that it purports to be the speech of Allah, or is its interpretation. That's what, that's what this means, if they say this. That this is not the speech of Allah, that it's an interpretation. This is what this when they say they make these false claims, what it implies. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's speech is perfect. And Ahlul Sunnah also has faith first in Allah, His books, His angels, His prophets, uh, and all the six pillars of Iman, as is. Uh, witnessed in the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was asked about Islam and Iman and when he, he replied regarding Iman he said in tu'minu billahi wa in tu'mina billahi wal malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al-akhir wa tu'minu bi khadri khayrihi wa shar so that Ahl sunnah believes in the pillars of Iman Ahl sunnah believes in the pillars of Islam Ahl Sunnah doesn't go beyond the text. Ahl Sunnah is away from extremism. Ahl Sunnah is moderate. Ahl Sunnah doesn't believe in terrorism. Doesn't believe in killing innocent people. Doesn't believe in, in terrorizing the people. Ahl Sunnah believes in the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good, forgive our evil, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.